Hi, I'm here with Mark Murphy, New York Times bestselling author and author of Hiring for Attitude and also a senior contributor to Forbes magazine. Hey, I really appreciate you taking the time and having a discussion with us here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell me, why is Hiring for Attitude so important? You know, the big issue is that we all know new hires fail, right? But 89% of the time when a new hire fails, it's not for a lack of skills. Mm -hmm. It's for a lack of attitude. It's for things like coachability, emotional intelligence, motivation, temperament. Companies and recruiters are pretty good at hiring for skills, mm -hmm. not so good at the attitudinal part. That takes an extra set of skills to be able to make sure that somebody's going to fit your culture, they're going to be motivated, coachable, positive, and all the rest in order to really be successful. Interesting. So what are you seeing as the biggest mistakes companies are making to not uncover those things? You know, one of the big issues that mistakes that people make is that they A, don't have a lot of structure to their interview. There is a science to hiring for attitude. People will say, oh yeah, we hire for attitude. We like people that are a good fit, but the truth is they have no science behind it. There's no structure there. So having structure, not giving away the right answers in their interview questions, a mistake we see most organizations make. They're actually spoon feeding yeah. the candidates the right answer, which takes away our ability to figure out, is this person a fit? Are they not a fit? Um, they will go into these interviews without knowing what good and bad answers sound like. They don't have an answer key. If we were giving kids in high school tests without having an answer key, what's the point? But right. when we're doing hiring for attitude for real, doing it scientifically, following the process, then we're actually able to pinpoint instantly, is this a good candidate? Is this candidate a fit? Do they fit our unique culture? Because every organization is a little bit different in terms of their cultural fit. So we've got to figure all that out. And those would be some of the biggies. Excellent. Excellent. So how are you helping companies like, like Floodgate, by the way, do a better job of finding that too. What, what are you doing to help those companies overcome those mistakes that we commonly make? Yeah, so a couple of things. One is revealing what are the unique attitudes for your organization and for your clients' organizations. As I mentioned, every organization is different. You take Southwest Airlines versus the Ritz-Carlton. They're both great organizations, but one is we're having fun, wearing shorts, and the other is we're ladies and gentlemen, serving ladies and gentlemen. It's, they are radically different cultures. So discovering the unique success factors, the attitudes that differentiate high and low performers in every culture, those are very different. Two is designing a bank of interview questions that are tailored to reveal those specific attitudes. We can't just go in so many hiring managers, we'll just kind of wing it well, this is the question. I've used this for 20 years and just, you know, I, I like this question. It's always worked well for me, but they've never done a scientific analysis to figure out, is this a good question? Is it effective? Is it revealing candidates, differentiating them? And then the third thing is building these answer keys so that we can pinpoint instantly based on the language that the candidate uses, the words, how did they answer the question? Whether this person is actually going to be a fit, whether they have the right attitude to do it for real and not in a hypothetical law. I've always fancied myself a team player and, and I love collaborating with others, but do they actually have the experience with that? Can they demonstrate those attitudes in a very real way? Right. Yeah. Now, that was incredible lessons today. It's always humbling to learn what you don't do right. <laughs> but now I'm so excited to learn how to go forward and uncover those in very tangible, consistent, and scientific ways. So I appreciate you bringing us up to speed. We're looking forward to hiring for attitude. And thanks for your time. Oh, thanks so much. Appreciate it.